The Lagos State University has held its fifth Faculty of Social Sciences annual international conference. At the conference, social science scholars recommended homegrown solutions that will foster sustainable development in Africa. Senior correspondent Sharon Dijasso has details. It was a gathering of social science scholars from the Lagos State University and other universities across the globe. The theme of the discussion at the conference is social sciences and sustainable development in Africa. It is not unusual for the whole world to look up to the social sciences, our research arsenals in economics, geography, psychology, political science and sociology, and cognitive disciplines for sustainable solutions. The core question is to deal with poverty, just like the MDG. But this time, we have to harness, you know, the global resources in ways that are manageable, not only for the current generation, but for future generations. Speakers at the event stressed the need for homegrown solutions to the challenges of poverty, hunger, environmental degradation, and other social problems facing Africa. The lead speaker, Professor Kelechi Kalu, from the University of California, Riverside in the United States, believes that the 17-point agenda of the Sustainable Development Goals SDG is not informed by Africa's ecosystem. How can we have these resources without destroying our ecosystem? What then will be sustainable development for Africans? How would we achieve this? The core question is, given that we all scream about colonialism, imperialism, neocolonialism, what are we Africans doing to ensure that the development processes, sustainable development processes are informed? If we are able to identify gaps of development needs, the universities are mandated to train, provide skills necessary to fill the gap so that um, there will not be a missing skills to meet the challenges in the future. According to research, the major thrust of the SDGs are to end poverty, protect the planet, and ensure prosperity for all by 2030. Sharon Jasson, TVC News.